Welcome back. Joining us again is Eric Kelly, and we're talking about the Black Business Expo and the resources that will be available to anyone attending. And you do have a lot of things happening there. Let's, can we get into some of the, the workshops, for instance? Well, you know, when you begin to talk about workshops and the people that are coming to speak, I begin to smile because these are the stars of our community. You know, a lot of events bring in a national speaker. Our national speakers are the people that are in the community. And one lady that really works with us is, is Angel Green. She's the president and Angel, she really manipulates what goes on at the show. She makes sure that the, all, the, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dot. And she runs a company called Artistic App Design. So, so, that good, so the way that we have our app, app, she actually does the app for us. And then there's another lady that, her name is Glendola Massenburg Beasley. And I say her whole name because she's that powerful. She takes the time out of her other company where she does board relations. And, and what she does is she handles all of our speakers at our show. And then there's one other lady who's Deborah Tower. And Deborah does the college summit. And oh my goodness, the way that she comes into the room and smiles and get people to understand that our kids really need the information, she does an outstanding job. And you know, sometimes people say, I don't even do anything, I just show up and smile. <laughs> no, that's what I but, say about me. That's what I told you. You just do yeah. it. I can see the smile too. You are really pumped over this. Oh, and the I, people that I are love involved. it. I, People don't understand. Every year that I get a chance to work with kids and talk to these kids, I see in their eyes that they're looking for something and the expo is just, just one in a million of things that we should be, be able to do to help these kids. And one of the people that is coming to the show this year is James Stevens III. A lot of people don't know James Stevens III. You're prob he's a comedian, he's an impressionist, and um, he's our entertainment. And I always mention him first because he gives away scholarships for kids. And he, he was one of the people, when I stopped doing the show, that inspired me to start doing the show again. He built him a, a, a new um, theater down in Myrtle Beach called, called the Asher Theater, where he performs each and every day. So I wanted to mention him. And then we have uh, Gracie Lopez, Gracie Johnson Lopez. And if anybody that knows Gracie, she's the person that does a lot of um, diversity and, and inclusion workshops in, in workshops in the community. So she, she, she's also great, great. Sandra Braswell with, with the credit union. Um, these ladies are gonna be on a panel call, it's all about the business. And the ladies are gonna sit there and they're gonna talk about what business is all about? Because one of the things that the expo does, and I know you ask about this, we've got a lot of moving parts. Yes. Um, we, have, we have a stage where we do fireside chats. So we do four fireside chats. And we start at 10 o'clock where it's all about the business, where young, young, brilliant women get an opportunity to talk about the business. And then at um, about 1230, we do what we call a black business, black business call. And that's where Sheriff Bur Burkett comes. That's where the ex-mayor of Durham comes up. And they talk about the Black Business Expo, why we doing it, and what it does for the community and, and how it affects the city. And um, Councilman um, Brenda Howerton is also gonna be there, along with a very good friend, uh, Zach, uh, uh, House Representative Zach Hawkins, who is one of our, our, our stars right now. And you know, then, it sounds to me, I don't mean to interrupt, but you know, what's, what's also interesting about this, because I've been to expos, mm -hmm. and you're right, they usually bring in a lot of people from outside oh. the area, and they may motivate you, and they may, here's how successful I am. But these are people that you'll be able to do business with, one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. mm -hmm. uh, I think that's, I, I, I just have never heard of this before. I think that's a very big plus for and, everyone, anyone who's thinking about going. And then the other things, most of these, these keynote speakers, you pay them 160, 70, 80 thousand wow. dollars. Okay, when you pay a keynote speaker that kind of money, okay, they take that money and they walk out of the community. You know, I was talking to uh, Marty Clayton with, with Duke Energy. We had this conversation about, 
you know, doing a lot of events and people set their events up and they want people to come. They want people to come. So they get these stars out of Hollywood. They get these people who write these books. And what happens to the money? It's hard to do a great event. And so what I've been doing, and I'll let everybody know, I am still working on getting a couple of surprise keynote speakers by, by having dialogue with them to share with them why it's important for them to come to the, the Black Business Expo. No hint, no hint No hint, no, no, no hint, I can't do it um, right now. But I tell, you, I tell you this, when we do announce it, the, the people are gonna be so great and so magnificent until people are gonna just, it, it's gonna be like a wildfire. We don't, we, we, we won't even have to advertise. Remember, there's only 250,000 people in Durham. There's only 380,000 people in Raleigh. So if somebody's coming from a place that's 8 million people, their name will, will be recognized. And then we have another seminar workshop, which is, a, um, excuse me, a fireside chat that I think is one of the most important fireside chats that we do. It's called the Millennials versus the Baby Boomers. Guys like myself who are 60, yeah. 60 years old, yeah. and then what about the young kids? Generation X, then the millennials. Okay, how do we as business owners react and have conversations with them to help them not make the mistakes that we probably made? And that's a, that's a, um, a fireside chat with Thomas Wilson, um, Lakeisha, Lakeisha Cole, and Michael Hines of GlaxoSmithKline. And, and Michael is just an awesome guy. We had a chance to sit down with him and his passion. And I think one of the things that you find out from our show, the passion of the speakers. They have a story to tell, and I want them to tell their story not only to the attendees, but to the students, so the students can do something with their lives. Well, if they're anything like you, they're going to be passionate. We've got to wrap this up, though. I could listen to you for hours yet. You should get your own show. Uh, how, how do people find out more uh, about the show and how to get involved and go and whatever? Well, the way they get involved is they can go to the website, www.blackbusinessexpousa.com or they can call the Black Expo hotline at 919-308-9090. I said I had a surprise for you. Yes. You know, and the surprise is yes. if they call us and they mention your show, oh. they will get $200 off of their booth. Their booth will go from 450 down to $250. Oh, that's pressure. You can't beat it. You, but they got to mention your show. Do it. They got to mention it. your show. And Please make me look good to this man. <laughs> I want him back next year. <laughs> and of course, I just want to say for everybody out there, think about our kids. Think about when you was a student. Think about when you were doing something in your life, in your livelihood, and you wanted to change. We're here now. Some of us have retired. Some of us are still in business. But our kids are our legacy, and they're our future. And in North Carolina, there's $145 billion in the African-American community. Why can't we harness that power and take some of that money and give it to our kids so they could have better lives? Oh, amen. amen. And I want to thank you for allowing me to be oh, on the show. Yeah. Of Listen, the Black I was going to move out of the way here because you, <laughs> you, you got it down. You don't need me, but thank you so much and good luck. I mean, what a great cause. With something this pure and this good, it's no wonder it's successful year after year. And thank you for being here and, and, and watching. We hope that you'll enjoy, you did enjoy today's show. I certainly did. And if you have any questions or would like to know more, visit our website at RaleighCW.com and myrdctv.com. I'm Bill LeMay, and thank you for watching Community Matters, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>